Hi everyone, it's Roger here from What's On at DisneyPlus.com. It's Monday, it's time for a quick Disney Plus News Roundup. We're going to be talking about a new live action version of Hercules. Um, Miss Marvel not being a huge success to begin with and much more. But before we get into any of that, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Okay, since it's the start of a brand new week, let's start off with some good news. It has been confirmed over the weekend at the Annecy Film Festival in France that Zootopia Plus is going to be heading to Disney Plus on Wednesday the 9th of November. We've got a little bit longer to wait than we maybe thought. I thought it was going to be a Disney Plus day one, but now it's been pushed back to November. Going to be getting six shorts and it kind of intertwines with the original movie but with each short has kind of got a different theme for example reality tv or a dance competition not sure how that's all going to work one of the shorts was shown off at the festival but unfortunately we're probably going to have to wait a little bit longer till we see it i don't know when the trailer might drop is it coming out in november they still probably got a few months left i'd imagine until we see a little bit more of it but definitely interesting to see how this works out with zootopia i'm um, originally it was supposed to come out last year but i think with all the pandemic and everything it just got delayed but now we know it'll be arriving on Disney Plus on the 9th of November. Speaking of Disney Plus Day, while we thought that Marvel was going to skip the San Diego Comic Con and head straight to the D23 Expo in the beginning of September, it looks like there is going to be a presence there because according to Outside Comic Con, who has put up an image of some posters being put up around the San Diego and Gaslight areas featuring She-Hulk attorney in law with the San Diego logo. Now, I'll be honest, I kind of was expecting this because this show is going to be dropping in the middle of... Um, August on the 17th. Um, it made much more sense for Disney to have some presence at San Diego Comic Con to promote it because by D23 the series is already underway and they're going to want to get that whole thing moving to begin with. While we don't yet know too much more about how Marvel is going to be at San Diego Comic Con, it wouldn't at all surprise me if there was a panel for She-Hulk or maybe some of the other bits and pieces. I'm not expecting the big Hall H presentation, but who knows, we're just going to have to wait and see. But we definitely look like we're going to be seeing a little bit of She-Hulk at San Diego Comic Con. And I also suspect we'll see a little bit of I Am Groot as well, because that's just dropping um, a week before She-Hulk. We've also got some interesting news for Disney Plus subscribers in the UK and Ireland. It looks like now National Geographic content is going to be heading our way much quicker. Because at the end of the month, National Geographic is being removed from Now TV. The live channels will be going. A lot of the content that's on there um, is going to be expiring. There's some stuff that's still expiring, like um, next year and over the next few months. But um, they have confirmed on social media that it is going to be withdrawn. Um, I think, to be honest, National Geographic content went on to Now TV around the same time that Disney Plus launched, primarily as a kind of a, a deal was done to kind of get Disney Plus onto Sky platforms and also to get access to maybe things like The Simpsons. And National Geographic was just kind of the deal was done to kind of give them for a little bit longer because this has been a major reason why National Geographic um, content here in the UK has not been arriving as quickly as it does like in the US. We don't get new series and stuff. It all seems to have to go to Now TV and Sky TV. So um, channels aren't going to be leaving Sky, but they are going to be leaving Now. So I'm um, still waiting on official confirmation of what this means for Disney Plus, but we do know now that it's officially going to be leaving. Um, yeah, but let me know what you think of all this in the comments below. Let's now talk about another film that's in development over at Disney, which is a live action version of Hercules. And according to Deadline, Guy Ritchie is now involved in the project. He obviously was the director of Aladdin, which went on to do massive success. And I suspect right now, maybe Aladdin 2 is kind of on the back burner with everything that went on with Will Smith. So it seems only logical that he moves on to this other project. You know, he's done great with Aladdin. I mean, he also did like Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels and Snatched. Uh, I think this will work out pretty well. You know, he's got a good track record with doing movies and things, especially with Aladdin, because I really enjoyed that. That film so yeah Hercules don't know when it's gonna be coming out we don't yet know if it's gonna be a Disney Plus original or whether it will go to cinemas first but yeah so that's definitely kind of moving along and hopefully we'll find out more about this project in the weeks and months to come hopefully maybe at D23 and in our final bit of news today it has been revealed by Samba TV that Miss Marvel is unfortunately the lowest viewed Disney Plus premiere from Marvel series so far pulling in just over 775 thousand US households. Um, this is compared to 2.5 million for Loki, way below um, um, Hawkeye and all the other series. I mean, we're talking possibly nearly a million people less um, in terms of the US. Now that doesn't mean necessarily that less people have watched it because Disney Plus has launched in more countries with each passing series. So the overall global figures could be up or still be satisfactory for um, Marvel. But yeah, that is a big drop. Now 
there's a couple of reasons why people have been talking about this as, you know, maybe launching at the same time as Obi-Wan Kenobi has meant that it's overshadowed it, which I definitely agree with. I think it should have um, been like a couple of weeks out and get Kenobi out the way and so in a way maybe from Fall of and Thunder. The good news for Miss Marvel now is that it has been a huge success with younger audiences. It's also pulling in much more minorities watching it according to Samba TV, which I think is good, you know, representation of a superhero. And I think Miss Marvel was always gonna have a harder um, push with the idea of it focusing on Muslim family, and which I really enjoy. I think it really makes the show so much more interesting just to have a different, this is something different, I really like it. Now, whether or not Moonlight would have had the same struggles had Oscar Isaac not been, because maybe not having a major star in it is not pulling people in. I'm hoping more people will watch Miss Marvel in the coming weeks ahead, as especially as Obi-Wan Kenobi finishes up this coming Wednesday. That will give it a few weeks. But I really, really hope people watch it, because I think it's a great show. Some people comparing it to like Disney Channel, and to me, other than it referencing TikTok and having teenagers in it, it's nothing like a Disney Channel show. I don't quite know where that reference. I think it's just, oh, well, it's got kids in it. Um, but yeah, so it is disappointing. Um, it'll be interesting to see what Marvel were expecting on this, you know, how this character is going to move on. Maybe also when this character moves into the movies with the Marvels, people might be a little bit more accepting of it. But again, it was a, an unknown character. It's kind of like the first one with an unknown actor as well. But I'm really enjoying it. It's just a shame that um, people haven't been checking it out. But hopefully those viewing numbers will continue to increase um, as it moves on. So there we go. That is all of today's Disney Plus news. Remember to go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow and subscribe. And I shall see you guys soon. Laters. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe. Also, a huge thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon and also on our YouTube channel memberships. And I shall see you guys in another video. Laters.